And we are back. This is match one, game one. We won the die roll, and I do want to go first. What do we have here? We've got two lands, three lands, and uh, resist Ripper. And then we don't have two blue yet. Hmm. I think, yeah, I mean, this is definitely keep. And uh, who are we playing against? Warren 89, huh? Play the Thornwood Falls and pass turn. Morph, turn four, play this guy if I can. Alright, you got nothing, you got nothing. I wish you were. I should have probably, yeah, that's why I should have switched up more, have more islands because the double drop here. Uh, we'll see. And when I flip, do I reveal? Swarm up. Blood flies, probably. Ooh, I guess pretty good. Alright, alright. My death toucher won't be able to kill him if he regenerates him. <laughs> that could be good, though. I like that. See, face down, I could blow him out. So he blocks, he pumps, I flip, death touch, kill it. Alright, that's a plan, Stan. I like that plan. I like that plan a lot. Let's see if he does it. I hope he does, because then I waste his turn, too. Ooh, he could just regenerate it. I don't think he will. This is a risk. Because he could just regenerate it. Or will he pump? Makes it a 4 4. Regeneration. Dang it. <laughs> huh. Yeah, yeah, that was too risky. I shouldn't have done it that way. Yeah. You lose your two. Wait, um, time walked him and shocked him this turn for this creature. I don't think that was a, a good play. Yeah, I should have just taken, taken four. Yeah, I'm not sure. Sure, draw your card. Alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna play this guy. So let's, I'll have to review that. Like, I just shouldn't have blocked Taken Force if he would have pumped. Yeah, it's too risky. I was thinking, like, maybe he'll pump. Plus two, plus two. Now he just regenerated. That's that's the best play. So this guy become a 4-3 if I need him to so far. It does throw something in my graveyard. Makes that eight, black, eight and a black. Uh-oh. What is this? Lots of colors. My goodness. That's good to know, though. Yeah, all right, that's cool. <laughs> I'm okay with you playing that card. All right, pass turn, buddy. Warren 89. Ooh. I think now is the time. Now is the time to kill it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't want to use Delve because I've got Dead Drop here. Let's get that guy out of here. Yep. I think just so he can't regenerate it. And no attacks. He'll block. Gain one life. I get nothing out of it. I'm thinking there could have been... I could have been more crafty with it, I guess. No. Just do it now. No reason to risk. Because, like, he could... He would attack and... To be able to pump or regenerate, so yeah, there's just absolutely no point to do that. So I think that was the correct play. So now I play the blood flies. So we got a 2 2 flyer, and I could make this guy 3 4, not good enough to kill this guy. Alright, what do you got? He only has four lands too, I just noticed that. 
swarm of blood flies. Never really looked at that picture. It's kind of cool. And the Gadul Delta blood fly bites are indistinguishable, indistinguishable from spear wounds. Nice. I like that. All right, it's Warren 89, kind of getting massacred. Just guy student, so he does have a little curve, but playing four colors, so that could be dangerous. So let's swing and see what he does. Swing about a swing. Blocking there, I can make mine a 4-3. Is it worth it? <laughs> and then I saw 4 mana. Yeah, of course it is. I should probably thought that out before attacking, right? That A good player would have done that. Think of all the options. So it's a 3-4, and now 4-3. And he has green blue open or green red open yeah just waiting on you warren 89 all right let's do it one more time it's possible he didn't see that i had uh, two blue open so this will get once this guy gets bigger i gain a life from eric gets plus one plus counter on that and then i can play a four drop it's a good turn for me we got six, seven, eight, two more for dead drop. Here's the thing, like Keegan keeps saying swarm of blood flies, you're iffy on it. I love this guy. And has reach too. Look at that. <laughs> Flying creature with reach. Seems redundant, but hey, you never know. Maybe he could play a card that says target creature loses flying. Like, Lose Flight. There's a couple cards out there. I can't quite remember what they're called. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. That's a good one. And is it um, one or two target creatures you control? So he's doing 1-1. One, one. He's going to have a 2-4 and a 5-5. Five, five. Okay. So that's 6, 7, 8. This is 9. Almost getting to dead drop territory. Hmm. Let's. I don't know. I don't know. So he has five cards in his hand. He, now he has lands too. So I need to be aggressive on attacking. Huh. No, bitter revelation sets me up for dead drop. Let's do. I didn't have blue open. So that's actually three in there. So let's think about that. Can I do it? So if I draw land, seven, five. No, I can't do it this turn, but. All right, so put two cards in your hand and then rest in your graveyard. Huh. Yeah, I don't want to let, don't want the lands. We want spells. So that's five, six, seven, eight. So I would have been able to get there. Let's attack with the flyer. Oh, combos here too. <laughs> Sad creature, you have plus one, plus one on the flyer and on this guy too. Alright, wait on you, Warren, 89. You do not have reach or anything, correct? Correct. If you were to attack, let's see. We'll get in there, puts him down to 14. So I could hold Force Away open, or I can Mardu Skull Hunt. May not be the best play, but I want to get the... I want to get the card out of his hand into his graveyard. And if he attacks, if he plays another creature, my dead drop doesn't blow him out nearly as much. He still gets plus two, plus two on this guy. So 
He attacked. All right, interesting. What does that mean? You can block here. I'll take five. You can make this a three. Yeah. I'm not gonna double block. That'd just be crazy. Block there. I'll take five because we have fourteen. What else does he have? No creatures, no creatures, no creatures. All right. He's got to morph then too or something? He's going, he could be going crazy. Is like a four drop then? That'd be a sweet turn for him. All right, Warren. This is g still game one, match one, game one. Look at that, and a morph. All right. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie about that. So I dead drop, make sure I have this open, or force away open for any tricks. Choose you. Be able to hit for five flying. Yep. So he'll probably get rid of uh, Jeskai student, and then either War Shrieker or the Morph, depending on what the Morph is. Yep. Jeskai student, War Shrieker. Trigger. Yep. All right. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Good game. Good game. Draw. Draw. So <laughs> wow. I've got a lot of lands there. All right. Let's get a sideboard. So here in the sideboard, I mentioned when I started the game, I was like, shoot, I should probably have more islands. Looking at one, two, three, four, five, six or seven sources of blue. Maybe not. One, two, three, four, five, six of green. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's, I mean, it's kind of even. I don't know, because then I'm taking away. Yeah, I should figure out how to... I, that's, this feels like it's a safe mana mana consistency, but I'm not sure if I need to have more blue. I mean, having two blue sources worked well. Having two of these guys... Huh. Feels like I just probably need... Feels I should think this out, right, and magically make a decision. Uh, what would I... It was 7-7, seven, seven, right? Three, four, five, no, six. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for black sources. Low drop black, just a Mardu Skull Hunter. Murder's cut. Yeah, let's see. And blue force way. I'm going to take out one swamp, put in one island. We'll see if that makes it a little bit more consistent, consistent with the double blue. I think it will. Alright, let's submit deck. 